The Apple logo has the bite on it because they're homaging the, the first sin, the original sin of Adam and Eve. And that's when the serpent beguiled Eve to take a bite from the apple and then Adam did too. What's up my precious saints? Something's been on my heart recently and I wanted to share it with everyone. So a lot of people are hip to the Apple logo. People are familiar saying, oh, of course, the apple, there's a bite on it. That is symbolic of Adam and Eve. Some of you might, might be saying, what? What are you talking about? What? Bro, what are you talking about? What do you mean? I'm sleepwalking in life. No, let me tell you. The Apple logo has the bite on it because they're homaging the, the first sin, the original sin of Adam and Eve. And that's when the serpent beguiled Eve to take a bite from the apple, and then Adam did too. Now there's much debate if you get into biblical historians, if it was truly an apple or some sort of other fruit. That's neither here nor there. The issue is the tree of forbidden knowledge, knowledge and wisdom. So when they took the fruit and they bit it, they realized that they were naked. And then God was walking in the, in the, in the garden and saw that Adam and Eve sewed on a fig leaf in front of their private parts and then they realized that they were nude God said you know obviously this is bad and then they, he banished them out out of the the garden but that was the original sin so now when you look at your Apple iPhone that's what that bite is representing so I'm not here to say oh don't use you know throw away tag throw away your iPhones listen I'm just saying that that's what the logo is and, and it's even hypocritical of me because I'm using tech right now as I'm talking about it, but I'm also exposing some of the darkness. Apple just came out with a new visor for people to wear so they could f disconnect from reality for two hours a day. That sounds tremendous, not? So another thing that's been on my mind is that when you worship something, you bow before it. So if you pray, if you're worshiping something, you're, you bow your head as a sign of reverence. So what are you doing when you're on your phone all day? You're bowing before it, you're looking at your phone. Think about that. There's the Apple logo with the, with the bite on it and now you're bowing before it. Now imagine if you're somebody that's sleepwalking, that's not praying, that's not thinking about God, not, not going to church, that there's zero God in their life, but they're waking up every day and they're looking at their phones and they're bowing, bowing before their phones. What are they doing? They're actually worshiping tech. So are you looking up more and more information, clouding your minds with all sorts of information that's corrupting your, your brain? Are you looking at Instagram, getting depressed because you're comparing yourself to other, other people's lives? Are you on YouTube, absorbing a ton of information, getting scared about impending doom, about the powers that be, about all kinds of conspiracies? Listen, I believe that we should be knowledgeable. There's a Bible quote that says, lean not on your own understanding. So I think that's very important and that's something to keep in mind when you are moving about your day. You have to re rely on one person and that's God. Not on yourself, about all the things that you could do with your mind and how you're so great. Because at the end of the day, that you're making yourself God. And the devices are actually furthering corrupting yourself and your mind. So keep that in mind when you're moving about your day are you worshiping your phone? Are you not giving any attention to God? Keep that in mind. Love you guys. Have a good one. Peace.